I am Anil Kumar and here is another application of quadratic functions. The hypotenuse of a right triangle is 15 cm. The sum of other two sides is 21 cm. Find the length of other two sides. So let's sketch one. Let's say that's the hypotenuse. These are other two sides. So they have to be perpendicular, correct? So we could draw like this and let's label. And we'll also define our variables. So hypotenuse is the longest side opposite to 90 degrees, which is 15 centimeters. Let the other two sides be X and Y, both in centimeters. Okay. <clears throat> so we have already written 15 centimeters for hypotenuse. The sum of other two sides is 21. The other two sides are X and Y. So we'll write our equation X plus Y equals to 21. Now these are the two variables. You could write one in terms of the other. Let's write y equals to 21 minus x. So that gives us two equa one equation. Uh, let's say this is equation number one, this is two. Second equation relates y with x. Since there are two variables, we need two equations to solve. How do we get the second one? Well, we could use Pythagorean theorem, right? So we'll use Pythagorean theorem. It relates the three sides of right triangle. So we know x square plus y square is the hypotenuse square, which is 15. Now we can substitute y as 21 minus x. So we could write this as x square plus, so within brackets, I will write 21 minus x, right? So I've substituted the value of y from equation 2, and this is 15 square. Let's open this bracket. So we get x square plus, when you square this, we get 21 square minus 2 times 21 times x, and plus x square equals to 15 square. So let's use the calculator, find what these squares are and uh, then we'll simplify it. So 21 square is 441. So let's rewrite x square plus 441 minus this is 42x plus x square. 15 square is 225. Let's bring it to the left side. So minus 225 equals to 0. So I hope this step is clear. We brought 15 square to the left side. Now we can combine the like terms, x squared plus x squared is 2x squared, uh, coefficient of x, 42, minus sign, okay, and these numbers are 441 minus 225, that is 216, plus 216 equals to 0. So you get a quadratic equation to solve. At this stage, you have a couple of options. You can solve using quadratic formula, um, which is x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So if you're using this formula, it's a good idea to factor 2 also. You're working with smaller numbers. That's the whole thing. So x squared minus 21x plus divided by 2, 108 equals to 0. So you can say, uh, I mean, b is 21, so you can say this is uh, minus and minus becomes plus, so 21 plus minus square root of 21 square minus 4 times. a is 1 now, right? And c is 108. Square root divided by, by 2 and get the answer. So that is one way of doing it. Alternate method will be, let's say method number two could be, you could factor. Now in factor, we need product of two numbers P and Q as 108, and we need sum of P and Q as minus 21. So you can trial and run. So maybe 108, 12 times something, let's see. So if I divide 108, I mean, by 12, I get 9. So 12 and 9 gives me 21 also. So that may work. So I'm using 12 and 9. Since I need minus, I'll use both negative. It works, right? 
So let me factor and do it. Anyway, you'll get the same answer. So what we get here is two times. So we can write this expression as x minus 12 times x minus 9 equals to 0. Now when you write in factored form, 2 cannot be 0. However, x minus 12 could be 0. That gives you x equals to 12. x minus 9 could be 0 at x equals to 9. So these are the two solutions for x, right? Now let's find what y is. y is 21 minus x. So if I write 21 minus x, which is 12, I do get 9. So effectively, these are the two numbers. So we get our answer as that the two numbers are, don't forget to write units, which should be in centimeters, correct? So 12 centimeter and 9 centimeters, correct? So in this video, you learn two different ways of solving such questions. And also remember, when you write your answers in any word problem, you have to include units. I hope you appreciate it. Feel free to write your comments. And if you like and share, that'd be great. Thanks and all the best.